okay guys so let's get started i know it's been a while since i actually sat down here and talked you know while doing my makeup i'm not gonna be talking a lot though um i find that um <laughs> adults has it adults have uh add not only kids so i like to keep my videos at a length where i feel like i can keep your attention for longest so hence the reason why i do so much voiceovers and have other videos sped up so today i'm starting with my eyes and I just base my eyes with some concealer ColourPop. Um, how do you guys like the Rainbow series? I just completed the color purple and today we are doing some green. I'm stepping into green. Comment down below what colors you want to see me use as well. I probably might do two more uh, color, choose two colors to use again. So I saw um, Rihanna's Global Makeup Artist create this look on um, a model and I fell in love with it and then Colourpop just released this palette just my look I do not own too much of these shades and it's so pretty it's a pretty so I'm like you know it, it, it was like it's perfect it was perfect timing so I decided I am going to recreate that look um, adding a little more concealer also and I started with my eyes today because um, I'm not sure if this has followed and it's green. I just wanted to stay on the safe side. So I always recommend that you set your base with a translucent powder. It, in my opinion, it prevents it from creasing and uh, it creates like a smoother canvas to blend the shadows over top. It's like powder on top powder, but you don't do too much at the same time because it can just make the pigments not um, pop as much. So it's a balance. I would not be doing my entire face on camera. I just want to focus mostly on the eyes and you know the lip colors and things like that. When I'm done using doing the color series, I'll you know pop into some more uh, makeup because there are a lot of new products that I have been loving lately. So I'm gonna start with the color Act Natural on a very small um, blending brush because I want to be kind of precise with it. And I'm starting to tap that on the outer corners of my eyes. Small circular motions. And when there's hardly anything on my brush, I am bringing it inwards. I'm going to switch my brushes. So I like looking forward into my mirror when I'm applying shadows too. Because I want when I'm looking forward, I can see the shadows peeking on top because I have a slightly hooded eyes and i don't want only when my eyes are closed or i'm looking down that you actually see my shadows so i always sort of lift my brows and bring that right in my crease and a little over my crease so you can see the colors while i'm looking forward and those uh, shadows are blending beautifully as well i might add that in there so what have you guys been up to lately i know it's been a while since i sat down and said anything what have you guys been looking at what's good i'm a tv person so i always want to know what's popping on the tv netflix okay so now that i have this i'm now going back in with the smaller um blending brush and i'm going to take the darker color and it's um <laughs> mo bamba <laughs> so we're gonna use this to deepen up the outer corner a little bit more and I'm pressing and tapping the color in now that I have it I'm just gonna go back with that first brush that I started with and blend the edges so that it's seamless and blended Doing shadows is always going to be time consuming and it takes time, it takes patience. If you do not have it, just skip it all together. Okay, so now I'm going to take the color Big, Big Bangs. It's a shimmer green and I'm going to apply that to the middle of my eyes to connect it to the color that I, that I just placed out on the outer corners of my eyes. Damn, I cannot speak. <laughs> And then I'm going to go back with that small blending brush and the color Mo Bamba. I love the way Colourpop names their products. It always, Colourpop and Wet and Wild, they name their products 
it's just out of the world i love the name it's, they're so creative with it so now i'm going to use the other side of my brush i don't like using too much brushes too because i hate to be cleaning brushes and i'm going to be using the color mary jane and apply that to the inner corner of my eyes like this one i may have to use uh, um spray with let's see yeah I think if I had a base for this color too, it would be better, but I don't have a base that's this color. So I'm going to apply it dry first. Yeah, a base would definitely make this color pop more. And then I'm going to damp my brush with some setting spray because I'm not getting the pigment that I want with it dry. Let's see. That's better. I'm taking a, a flat a blending brush as well and I'm just gonna blend it out some more. I just don't want it to be too harsh because it was her look was uh, more blended. And I'm a fan of if you've been on my my channel for a little bit, I'm a fan of the blended effortless looking makeup. I don't like when it's always structured and cut crease and whatever. Sometimes I just like it to just be blown out. And there we have one eyes done. And this was such a simple look to create, honestly. It's all about blending and technique. It was so simple to create. I honestly feel like anybody can create this. So I'm going to do the other eye off camera and I'll be right Okay, so I am back. I did most of my face off camera. <sighs> So now I'm going back in with the palette and I'm using a flat brush and I'm taking the darker of the two greens that I use, this one, uh, Mo Bamba, and I'm going to apply that to the bottom of my eyes and connect it to the V on the outer corner of my eyes, like so. I hate doing bottom shadows and mascara, I look like a butthole. <laughs> Is there a way that we can actually do something to the bottom lashes and not look like this? Damn. And then I'm going back. I'm going to use the first transition color, Act Natural, on this pencil brush. And I'm going to diffuse just the edges of the, the first color. I usually like my bottom lashes, to, uh, my bottom shadows to be blown out and it also helps to like disguise the fine lines underneath your eyes as well, like they don't show too much. And that's it. Now for a little pizzazz, we could go in the waterline with uh, something of a neon green or you know a blue or something to create contrast, purple, something like that. but. I'm just going to keep it black because I am leaving the house shortly. So I don't want to be, I don't want the eye look to be too crazy. I'm just going to work. So I want to keep it, you know, I like black because it helps tone it down for me. I'm also taking that black and I'm going to add it tight line my lashes. Because this is just going to help my lashes to look darker and fuller. Now for me, when I'm using greens and side note, greens and purples and stuff like that, they bring out the brown in your eyes if you're a brown eyed girl or boy. Like my, one of my favorite colors to wear over my eyes is purple. That's why I chose purple first. It just, it does something to brown eyes. So when I'm using colors like that, I like to pair with peachy looking uh, lips and blush and stuff like that. So I'm using my e.l.f. blush quad and I'm just grabbing this peach um, blush here. And I'm going to pop that on my cheeks. At the same time, I want a little color on my cheeks, but I don't want to look I don't want to add too much color because I don't want to look crazy because I have all that going on on my eyes already. You know, uh, makeup is all about balance. So now that I have uh, most of my stuff down, I like to set my face before I go in with my highlight and, and my mascara and things like that because uh, the mascara could run when the liquid uh, touches your face and when your face is moist, 
it helps your highlight to pop even. I'm gonna set my face with some Wet n Wild Photo Focus Coconut 3 in 1 Primer Water. And I'm leaving my eyes closed or looking down because at this stage, you do not want to make too much facial expressions and stuff like that. It just, you don't want to create any lines and creases on your, on your face or your eye looks because it would set like that. So I like not doing anything much with my face when my setting spray is drying. Okay, so we can't forget our brows neither. I'm using my got to be gel and just set my brow heads in place. And I like to brush my brow heads upwards. I don't mind it looking messy and like actually cross the line of where I actually defined it. I like the look of that. So that's what we doing. I actually got this tip from Beyonce's makeup artist, Sir John something. Uh, he uses um, wig um, glue, um, like the bold hole or something like that in her lashes because um, it keeps it in place. So I was like, why not use um, I got to be gel, you know, and it works so well. Like, I think I'll be using this forever and ever. My brow hair stays in place until I get home and remove it. If it's the one thing that stays on my face is my brows. Now we are going to use some highlight and I'm using my Maybelline Master Chrome in uh, gold. Master Chrome in molten gold. And I'm going to apply that to the tops of my cheeks. My chin. Ooh, that's a lot. And I'm going to switch my brushes and just apply some of that to the bridge of my nose and my cupid's bow. Okay, at this point, I'm not worried about the way the highlight looks because I'm going to show you the next step that I usually do to melt everything in. So at this point, I'm going to set my face again. And before it's actually dry down, I'm going to use my damp sponge and press all the highlight and everything in my face into my skin. It just lasts longer and makes the highlight look more skin-like and one with your skin. Very gently, you're just tapping it in all over your face. So before I actually complete everything, there's a final step I like to do after I do this. I like going in with a mattifying powder. And today I'm using the Catrice Prime and Fine Mattifying Powder. Um, Remo Stay Matte is a good one. I'm just going to apply some of this in the areas where I get oily, like my chin and the sides of my nose and my forehead area. And this trick, it works. It keeps your makeup on in those areas. Right, so if I complete the eyes, I know I'm all over the place. I'm going in with lips. And the lip color, as you saw in the picture, it was sort of an orangey, ready color. So I'm going to use my uh, Lady Danger from uh, MAC. And I'm going to pair it with this orange lip liner from ColourPop. Let's see what magic we make. And there we have it. Now, I don't typically pair these two together. They're out there, but it's spring, and why not? Makeup is all about expression. It washes off. Okay, so um, they actually look really good together. So I'm going to apply some mascara. I'm not sure if I'm going to use lashes. And then I feel like lashes to just hide the look all together, and it looks good with that lashes. So I'm going to apply a couple coats of ColourPop uh, Volumizing Mascara and be right back. So there we have it, the complete look. Um, Let's give it a little close up. So this is complete look. I hope you enjoy. Um, hi, if you're new here, my name is Rachel. Welcome to the family. Um, like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the bell, all that good stuff. Everything I use will always be in the description box down below. I'm sorry, I can't stop looking at this look right here. <laughs> uh, I am a nail technician and a makeup artist. All the links, everything of, of how to book me is in the description box. So be sure to check that out. So until then, I'll see you in my next tutorial on Sunday. <laughs> Bye, guys.